Hello boys and girls and welcome back to more Mars TV Dota 2 Winter League action. We are in the main stage right now as uh, we're going to continue on forward into, what'd you say? Phase 3? Wave 3? You said Heat 3? Whatever I want to call it. The third set. It's the third stage. And, uh, well, we are in the middle of Secret being one up against Ehome. And uh, it looked like Ehome had potential. Strong pushing lineup. Lycan, Pugna. And one thing we didn't say that might have also been a huge drawback was that Aegis timing, man. That was so critical. They lost the Aegis. It seemed like they were almost dumbfounded. They, they didn't have you, the second life. You can't and completely blame it on that, though, because they continued on a push without it. That's just the thing. Is like, but then that, at that point, they're kind of like, do we keep going? Are we pulling back? What's happening? And by that point, Secret's like formulating a game plan. They're seeing ODs not coming back, and they took advantage of them. Mm -hmm. And I think ever since that point, maybe a small tilt factor, it just... It never came to be. So, game two starting. Let's get in that frickin' draft so we can see what the hell they're picking here. And it looks like Secret are going to be opening up with the precious Invoker Ember Spirit while Ehome snag up. Well, they're getting influenced by everyone else, it seems. They first picked themselves the Bat Rider and followed up with a Night Stalker. So, already talk about serious control coming out from Ehome here. Uh, bans, by the way, Secret got rid of the Faceless Void. They themselves banned out the Earth Spirit and rid again of the Terror Blade. Ehome. They ban out the Chen, the, ma the, the magical puppy Chen. Ventral Spirit's got to go. Obvious good counter to the Bat Rider. They also take the effort to get rid of the Oracle. And, of course, a nod towards the Dazzle here. So a lot of support hate here coming out from Ehome. But the Bat Rider's almost in safe territory. What's left out there? Maybe a Shadow Demon to disrupt him seriously? But, uh... Slark. S Slark. There's, I don't think there'll be a Slark, though. It's already a different type of game, though. Ehome have committed to more map control in the lineup. Team Secret have not opted for their very first phase, very early first phase Oracle pick, and instead go for the Ember. I don't know. What, do you think the Ember would have been banned going into the second phase of picks? I feel like they maybe could have, you know, filled that spot with something a bit more valuable, but nonetheless, they do follow it up now with the Witch Doctor grab. Doesn't seem like a direct counter to anything here, but we know Witch Doctor to just be a, a hugely potent support. The proper cast timing, great Voodoo restoration. It's going with their team. Uh, and yeah, assist with great lockdown. I think they just wanted a safe laner that can fight early, yet isn't susceptible that much to Batrider. Although I guess Juggernaut would have been an option for them, uh, but they've proven that they heavily favored the Ember Spirit over the Juggernaut for the split push potential. The Better play split push. is uh, as Batrider jumps in the last of someone on your team, you just throw out the coconut and hope that the Batrider takes that coconut back to his team. No, they have stronger lanes this game. They, I, I highly doubt they'll let the Batrider get first split in the first in, in the lane again because of uh, Ember and Wish Hucker being much, much stronger than Oracle and Spectre. Mm -hmm. So they... That was a real big weak point in their strategy because they allowed the Batrider to get a Blink Dagger before the Oracle hit level 6. Well before, in fact. Ooh, Lady Death Prophet coming out as the third grab here. Okay, so, okay. Maybe they still do want to push. But Quas Wex Invoker owns pushes badly. But does he own a Death Prophet in the mid lane? What do you right. think about that matchup? Why I mean, Invoker I don't think he'll highly touted as one of the best in the lane right now. He can't now. CS amazingly, but, I mean, he can, he can get CS. And probably do decently. Cold snap away that pesky soul siphon. I think it's tornado. 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 And and then Get off my grill, lady. Yeah. I don't yeah. see why not. Death prophets have been like okay in lane, but it's 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 more if you have a big threat that can actually kill the invoker. It's more about the supports, I think, rather than that matchup itself. It should be more about the style, and they do invoker quas exhort, and then still get the shadow demon. That's very good against bat rider, and then you have. Sunstrike setup. Which Shadow Demon is too risky. Well, it's very good against push too. Come on. Eh, he's so so versus push. <sighs> I think you want to do it if you have like an anti mage or a specter who actually synergizes well with the uh, with the illusions, but it's it's far too risky. Uh, just because he is his range isn't as good as Oracle's at all. The mighty watermelon comes out here for secret. Very good against uh, someone like a bat rider. Typically, we see a lot, you know, until Batrider grabs up a BKB, it's like you're almost... Until you, like, get your early Blink Dagger and before Tide gets his, you know, it's... You're not going to get a always a clean getaway here. So, later in the game when Tidehunter gets his Blink, you're kind of forced to grab him. Otherwise, you just are at risk of being quickly countered by a Ravage. It's okay if you don't grab him. Like, 
it's it's only a problem if Titan has blink. If he has a blink, then yeah, you have to grab him. I mean, there's still a window where Bat's gonna be able to do as he pleases, especially if we see another performance we saw from Eleven. He got what, like a nine-minute blink dagger. It did help that he got that early kill, but still. This guy will get a blink in good time. There will be a period of time where Tidehunter won't be able to counter from him, but already these are kind of you know difficult lasso targets. I just don't foresee this being the easiest Bat Rider lasso setup kind of a game, but we'll have to see. They still have one more support grab to go for for the side of Secret. So we'll have to see what it's gonna the follow-up's gonna be. Ben for Ehome here. Um, they need another support, I imagine, to roll along with this Night Stalker. Someone probably more designated to the lane where Knight wants to take they advantage of the first Knight. They also need a that can push towers. An another one, I would say. Are they Lone Druid players, you think? Is that is that good enough? Lone Druid is pretty good. Taken away. Juggernaut, I think, is probably m my pick. Though. That's like, uh, yeah, very great Because Juggernaut there. can kill a Tidehunter. Ah, uh, the, the Lanham Lion. Hmm, interesting. Hard lockdown versus Ember, yep. terrible versus Tide, however. Actually, you can just mana drain him in lane. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, he's got the base damage. He's got some zone potential. It's very good. And like you said, it's, it's a good answer in lockdown for Ember, especially if he's able to get a blink. Ember already will feel a lot less sa uh, safe about split pushing, farming outside lanes, at risk of being jumped, because it leads in with a jump from Lion, then you get a follow-up Night Stacker Silence or Lasso and whatever it may be, and he ain't going to be going nowhere. Lots of lockdown. This might even be like a Ember Lincoln slash BKB kind of a game. Morphling ban and oh, that's a support Naga. Yeah, support. I almost like err at the just the side of it, but it's support. Support Naga is one of the best counters to Bat Rider, although not many teams have done it. Uh, but as we remember, Secret and EG were like the uh, you know the two that really wanted to propel Naga Siren into like a first phase ban against against them and for good reason Naga Siren Sleep has it's, it's so super super strong you can even wait out the ghost from Death Prophet too yeah and Puppy I, I imagine Puppy's gonna be playing this yeah he yeah. plays a really good Naga he typically plays I mean I got to see the guy's freaking I believe his Dota buff this guy fiends Naga typically has a core in his pub game I mean and we already know him to be a a micro lord I think they also should have waited on the Slark pick too. Slark's also pretty poor versus Naga. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about a big team fight sort of situation. Slark can just pick off Naga very easily, but in a team fight situation, if you ult, he, she can just sleep, and then you can just tie a ravage and just destroy them. Like this high ground is, it seems like I, I don't know. With the Slark pick though, they don't actually want to commit f and force a high ground as early as they did last game. Overlay, please. Take me out of jail. Please. Brian, get back there and take the overlay off. He's over here in the kitchen. If someone got over there and hit the button, thank you so much. <laughs> well, we're back in action now. We're going to get underway. We saw that it's uh, early sun strike. Got to get that intel here. And uh, away we go. As far as game tempo goes, though, it's about the same here for Ehome. Better to get more done sooner than later. Well, at the first you know, window while ba you know, Bat gets his blink. And don't want to risk going late against this Ember Spirit. It's not, it's not as greedy. It's not Secret. about the lineup. It's about the play style. You home. That's how they play. Go they, go go. They they pressure a lot in the ten to twenty minute phase. Probably more so than like any other team that I know, actually. And like threaten. Okay, if you have one bad, really bad push, we're gonna take like two towers and threaten high ground. They threaten high ground with, in in very unusual positions. Well, not unusual anymore because people expect it, but unusual compared to other teams. So uh, it's. It's always on Ehome to pressure more. And they, they usually, like, you know, execute it pretty well. The only time it's different okay. is when they have an anti-mage. So based on what we've seen so far, because we've got to see a good chunk of Ehome at Frankfurt, but that was a, a different time and a different meta, and this is a new one. Do you think the tools that are kind of in play now kind of complement their playstyle more, or is it less with 6.86? I mean, remember we got to see a lot of, well, a Ravage coming out here for Lanham, but he's still going to get caught up. Sunstrike! Got him! Beautifully done there from Weeha. He's going to set up the first blood for himself. Soul Siphon return here for the Naga, but Naga is going to be able to slither away from trouble, it looks like, and Misery is going to be the gatekeeper and keep him away from the pressure. Secret off to a hot start, and, oh, speaking of hot, old 11 here, dishing out some fire auto attacks onto the back end here of Mr. Envy. Can he get close enough? No, he's going to be going down. Oh, double kills for Secret right now. A hard commitment comes out from the bat, hoping to get that ember, and he will drop. It's another one of those situations where, like, the, the safe lane player just has not 
had that much play with the team. You can tell with the top rune too. They only committed three, or a secret where there was four, and immediately picked out the lion who was left out uh, by his lonesome. And Slark kind of arrived late. Maybe they could have gotten a kill with a spirit siphon into the into a pounce, but they just just not enough bodies there at the start. They, I think they really want to bounce back here. Pounce will connect. They move in. They're waiting for the follow-up stun from Lanham here. They'll get it, but looking to interject. It's going to be Puppy who gets a big rip tied off. They are going to be able to get the grab onto Tidehunter, and it looks like uh, Night Soccer will be able to make it away in the back end of a tango. But, oh, big rip type damage onto Lanham, but Lanham confident and strong stays, gets off the Impale, and they might be able to also bring down Puppy. It looks like they will, and they even preserve the last hit. It looks like for the Night Stalker, Kaka going to be picking up that one. Sunstrike. Oh, it got him, but not enough to bring him down. Just enough regen coming in for Lanham. And Everyone died in neutrals. <laughs> and now we all will mo bow before the mighty centaur god who will bat us in the head. <laughs> and Lanham's He's like, for the that, that looks fun. <laughs> I'm going to do that too. Yeah. Ugh. Got him. 2-0 for the centaur here. Best record in the game. That's a nice move by Ehum, though. Normally you don't go in on a level 1 tie like that, but they realize he picked Gush up at level 1. So it's, a, it's a easy, <laughs> easy, way easier to kill the Everybody normal. died in the neutrals. Let's go. It's well, that's, dude. that's great for Ehum, man, because that, that looked like a catastrophic kind of a start there. But, uh, hey, they're scrappy. They're able to put it together. And, well, Pi, it's a, it's a secret game after all. They're a high-risk, high-reward high team. That's why I like watching them play. So... The question I was alluding to earlier, and as maybe I'll have to hold out again, mid lane, a trade between the two is Puppy. Very happy to hard commit. Does not care about no Scythe, and we'll be able to take him down. The return fire, though, is they get Wii on the backside. Now they move in. Suddenly a wild pilot eye appears after the death, and now they're going to get a good Maledict, a good ensnare. There's the forward right clicks, and there's the kill. Back and forth we go. This game much more action-packed. I think we had maybe one kill by this point last time, when suddenly we have eight kills before three minutes. Very nice. And I know you're talking about how you like Ehome as a team. They are more go, go, go. And regardless of the draft, they'll put together what they feel is necessary to get their job done. But do you think 6.86 uh, 6 complements their play style better or worse from before? You got to remember they got like Queen of Pains and stuff that would be more proactive as fighting in the mid game. Well, Death Prophet might not be the same. What do you think? It's m more so whether or not they can adapt. And I think they've shown that they're very versatile team so I don't really think it hurts them at all or or helps them oh actually I think it helps them because they're more versatile and there's more options available in this patch mm -hmm. so here they are oh fighting whoa. some more mid lane Weeha does take the best route to make it away but it doesn't really matter there's just too many swarming on in they get the stun or is yeah, he gets a cold snap but death prophet's gonna swat him on down and the old chicken will grab that one up Ehome pull ahead now 5-4. to four. That was his past chance of survival, though. I like that movement from him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He definitely read the situation to go for the best option now, but uh, didn't seem like he had the tools to Wait, wha keep Wait, what was the skill build? Does he not have Tornado? I was going to say no Tornado, I assume. Ooh, it's or the, the greedy build, no X. And uh, after going down, he quickly disconnects. I'm not sure if he felt like maybe there was something wrong with the machinery, but... Looks like he will need a moment to need to contain himself. some of that rage. He's like, <sighs> <sighs> again, I go down. Unbelievable. One, two, and two. But I am not fit for the Super Saiyan here. <laughs> now, can we look at the CS again? I actually wanted to see who was top there. Slark. Slark getting a lot of farm. We haven't really looked at his lane too much, but it's tight stacking. Tide. Iron Talon, hey. Everybody get Iron Talon. Iron frickin' Talon. It has changed the game a lot. For the better? Or... It's more options, but it, it's you can still punish it pretty easily, I would say. You just need to play aggressively. Like, you know, if, if they jungle too much, you home will just take on, on their towers. Similar like, you know, when someone has to commit to like a Midas, let's say. You want to punish the greed. I mean, Talon's going to add a bit of armor, but not much else. Talon's not a big commitment, though, so it's like not. It's more so the playstyle that it evokes, which is AFK farming in the jungle and not fighting. But, you know, we'll see you got you to balance it well. That's the hard part about Iron Talon is balancing out the fighting and the farming. Like we saw FY on the Nice Sucker earlier today, who balanced it out very well. 
but yeah. if you commit too hard, like in the pubs, then you would just lose. Dota's about fighting. Alright, good contention from 11 here. Tried to go for the fourth stack. Uh, and the value, he got his clarity on for a very long time. Efficiency. I like efficiency plays too. Oh, we know. 11 still always just seems to find his way, man. He is about to be level 6. Uh, a little after 4 minutes. My goodness, it's a good lane. And again, Weehan trouble. Ehom quick to try to punish him, but this time they have the response and they're going to be able to take down the Death Prophet, but that means that they can make a full commitment into this bottom lane diving beyond the tower right now. They're going to go for Envy Ooh, and they're going to get him. Stun. And then the follow-up possibly coming out. They're going to also take down Pylite Eye. Mm. They will lose their Night Stalker in the end, but... Where's my Centaur when I need him? But Lanham is a Gunslinger. <laughs> Could have been a killing spree for the Centaur, but he was not present for this fight, unfortunately. But a big <laughs> successful push there happening for, for Ehome, right? I gotta say. Oh, bottom lane. Look at this. Puppy going to work right now. They are going to get the catch with a helpful cast bounce right there in 11. Uh, but the Maldic stun continue to tick on through. They've lost the Naga, and 11 is going to drop there in the end. Oof, I wasn't sure what level that Maldic was. If it was that was really close. He almost had a stick close. up. It's only one. That three three charge stick would have saved them. Did cost them their support Naga, but okay. What's he, what's Fan going for? Is it going to be Shadow Blade Rush? Is it going to be Minus in the Shadow Blade? It's going to be a blink. His name is Fan. He plays Slark. It reminds me of Van. From uh, Elite Wolves, right? He picks up he plays Shadow Blade, Blade right? Uh, yes, typically. I think it's a Shadow Blade game. Is a fan a fan of the Shadow Blade, though? You think it is? Yes, why not? I have Night Stalker. Just make him feel scared everywhere. Batrider, Slark, yep. and Night Stalker. Ugh. Maybe later a Blinking Lion. Uh, nowhere yeah. is safe. I like that. Midas. Is that what he's doing? Yeah, I didn't see it. I oh. think so. Uh, the greed. All right. Yeah, ah. All right. I mean, he's farming very well. It's yeah. like going to be a six and a half, seven minute minus. That's I mean, thirty six and, and twenty. He's he's even flexing the denies here right now. Really taking it to oh, misery. Fan is good at farming. Fan is a farmer. Hard time for Wii a little bit here. In the this isn't feeling like a powerful invoker so far, but I don't know. Also, the death prep been a bit quiet here. Are we expecting either of them to maybe kind of, you know, step away from this mid lane and take it to the fight? We know Death Prophets typically have an underwhelming early exorcism here, and uh-oh, looks like they got a good catch. I love that synergy, and Snare right for the Sun Strike. Not quite enough damage, but eventually they will be able to bring down the Batman. And, and There's no for rush that. for them, the, because the Batrider's farming okay. He'll get his Blink at a decent rate at this pace, and then Slark has a Midas, so they're farming, like, a very, very fine, so... They, c they can exert better map control. They don't necessarily want to team fight because a lot of their stuff gets countered by Ravage into, uh, into Naga Siren. So ideally, they want to take small engagements around the map, fight around Lasso, uh, use Night Stalker Vision to its fullest, and take it that way. It's, again, much different than last game where they're forced to pressure early. All right. Are we seeing another on the move? We got some nighttime left. What level is Naga? She's been all she's over the place, so she's four. But she's been involved in a lot of kills. Seven, yeah. to be exact. Not really finding a lot of me time here for Puppy to, to farm up. It looks like they're continuing their expedition, this time to the bottom lane. Maybe anticipating the 11 Blink Dagger is going to be coming any moment, and they would not like that. So maybe if we could put him in his place, it would prolong our timing. And he's already committed the flight here. He's burning it down. Puppy is sweeping in. The ensnare. It will swing. It will catch. Pilot Eye looking to fall up with the casket. And they go ahead and get the sun strike. Hey, mission. How do you accomplish on that? I'm almost surprised he had vision for the net. I mean, did he have it looked like he started while vision. It's just ensnare is like one of those like, hold on a second while I stretch my arms all the way back. It's, it's nighttime though. And I don't know if he was close to a creep or what, but they didn't have a ward down there. This puppy with just a, a brief sight had enough time to quickly get it off. So what he's going for, Mech Rush, Tranquil? I'm not sure, it looks like Mech Rush. And is he going for BOTs? Seems that way. And Invoker going for Midas. Okay. Do you uh. at least get the Arcanes though before the mech on the Tidehunter? Otherwise, aren't you oh gonna yeah. run into yeah, serious almost mana problems? Almost so always, but so he likely it. just wanted it for the lane. Because you don't really need Arcanes to jungle. Yeah. Get it down quick. The next stack's coming. 
All right. Yeah. Nearly 800 gold. He's he's on the way, and 11 is like I really need to just get this blink. Is he gonna be able to stack this? Is it, it's a tough stack because Naga was kind of in it. Nope. Oh, yep. Looks good. Efficiency. Ready to go. Oh, speaking of stacks, Secret's got their own mighty stack happening right now. They need to take it out, though, I think, like, before nighttime, or else, like, Eho might be up in their grill. That's a nod to Puppy mo multitasking. It looked like he stacked it with a illusion and then also scouted with another illusion to block out or scout out a stack, so. He's putting those illusions to hard work. Eleven's going to be burned down those creeps. He's, again, about two, 200 gold away from finishing out that blink, and a Midas pickup here for, for Wii. Get him back on the path right now of recovery farm. It's been still, uh, would you say, a relatively quiet game for the Death Prophet on the other side, or is it still just not her window yet? It's only level one exorcism, level well, eight. They don't have a lineup that pushes well, aside from her, so she's just kind of there. So what's her job then in this game? Like, get farm, silence people. Y she does. She can't solo push tower. She'll get destroyed. Yeah. She'll get like easily mowed down by the by the ember. She can't get up in, in like up close and personal because of Tide Hunter too. So like there's a lot of stuff that snare from downtown. Follow up Sunstrike. Even a Ravage committed all in here for the Night Stalker. Secret want this kill because it seems like they want something else on top of it. If anything, not even actually that important to kill. It's it's a Night Stalker during daytime and it's it was a Ravage blow. So I actually think it's a good opportunity for them to kick people out because they'll have the they'll have the blink on Bat Rider. Is he actually going mid right now with the smoke? Oh, so he's going mid without a smoke. They it's really want to kill him, but it's it's tough during daytime. Uh, he might get spotted out from Naga illusions here. Yep. And then the blink would be exposed. That would not be bueno here for for e -Home. Okay, they get a free tower though. Went off the back of that kill. I'm surprising that Ehome didn't, didn't fight that. What did she use Exorcism on? Oh, she just used it. Okay, so just take On that tower. tower. Doesn't seem like uh, there's going to be much of a response to stop her from getting it. So that's, that's a good, a good grab for her. Oh, wait. Or maybe not. Suddenly a wild pilot eye appears. Gets the Maledict off, Death Ward, and Old Chicken wants to go toe-to-toe -to -toe <laughs> with the Soul Siphon. Man, he just wrecks the Witch Doctor. Drops one into Misery. Misery has to turn away, and well, he just piloted and learned a hard lesson right there. Death Prophet hurts. Made it out four TPs. Guys pushed up. <laughs> yeah, that's great. I mean, Seeker before that, of course, committing a lot to take on the Night Sucker. Got them that Tier 1 top lane. It doesn't look like he used much to get down extra wards. They have one extra ward up there, but... Ehome were able to respond. They get their own they get their own kill and tower in the bottom lane. So, and force out all those TPs. Ehome got to be feeling pretty good. They need to make sure that the Bat Rider doesn't die on bottom though, so they don't lose this tower too. Okay, nighttime. Woohoo! Got nighttime. You got a Night Stalker. You got a Slark who can seek well in night. You got a Bat Rider with a blink and a lasso. This is Ehome. Uh oh. Double damage Umber Spirit though. This could be a bad time. Night Stalker looking like a prime target. What is the Ember guy? Is he going right for the Boots of Travel, by the way? Uh, he got a Kila, but... Okay, looks like bots are going to be coming out. Oh. oh, bottom lane. Bats seeing if he can get a kill here without having to commit the lasso. It does force out the sleep. Is he going to blink and try to catch up with Misery here with a Flame Break, maybe? He's pursuing. No, no Flame Break. Oh, okay. Well, instead, we'll get the grab on the puppy. Pull him back, and I think Secret might have to let their captain fall here. Or not. Misery looking to re-engage. Naga does yeah, go he, down. Yeah, he's, he's going to get fingered, though, if he goes too close. Like, carry it, or Crypt Swarm to fingered, he's dead. So yeah. he can't go in. I'm surprised Puppy got caught out there. I thought he was good. He, he could have just ran back with the tank, but it looks like he stayed around waiting for his team to come in. But Ehome were, in fact, the ones with the larger numbers. So, okay. Well, so what is Slark on for? He's been super quiet this game. Well, he got that Midas, and oh, now he's got a lot of money. So like Shadow, Shadow Blade, Blade yeah. yeah. Straight to Shadow Blade. Looks like trouble's creeping across the river. Ehome will eventually find themselves towards the top lane. They're looking to make an engagement onto Envy. They got to know he's banking up some serious money here. This is the this is a good time. Ooh. You guys, bots. As uh, the Shadow Blade came online, and uh oh, they found a wild Weeha. Lead in Hex stun. Fingers there, but not necessary. Neither is the lasso. Okay, finally he's like, okay, he healed up. 
Let's just finger him down. Weha will be dropped, but look at this. They're going to get a response. Nice Ravage from Misery will intercept. They get the grab onto 11 as Lanham's also on the way out. But here comes Death Prophet committing the exorcism right now. Can Old Chicken make it work? And he goes right into a silence and right into trouble. All that exorcism damage plus the siphon. And Ember doesn't stand a chance. Boots travel great for uh, momentum and moving around, but not great for keeping you all alive, unfortunately. Yikes, second Ravage blown. And they, uh, they didn't even kill them. At Rider. That engagement. But see, Ehome, they, they never undercommit to a fight, though. Like in, in the bottom fight, when Radiant they got slept, they had everyone there in case they just decided to turn it around. And then that fight, too, they like they three man smoked, and everyone still followed up after that to make sure that the fight went okay for them. So, th you know, this is e Ehome, like they commit fully to each and every gink that they do, which is very, very cool. I'm sure that was very different, uh, difficult for Secret to try to fight into. You gotta remember it was darkness after all. I'm sure they were stuck. Darkness, exorcism. Yeah, it's like you're, and look at all that that secret shop area amongst all the trees. They can't see anything that's happening in there. Around every corner, just suddenly a new hero pops up, and they're like, "Oh my God, all of Ehome are here." <laughs> and then there's yeah. exorcism flying through. That was that was a tough time for Secret, and I think they were hoping there was gonna be a lot less, but the full Ehome family was there ready to play. And now e home up and ahead 12 to 10 recovery time right now misery rushing for the rest of his mech and a hopeful blink maybe as a follow-up there's stacks to farm right here e home has spotted him it looks like they're pinging it about and they have the vision you know this is one of the worst feelings as a support when you're super poor and then you're playing against a slark who has a who has um Shadow, Shadow Blade. Blade. Yeah, nowhere it's is safe. Such a terrible You game. have to, like, buddy-buddy up. Like, hey, you mind if I just kind of follow you around for not, a while? Not only that, you just have to buy a ton of sentries. Oh. Condolences to Envy. He goes down. It looks like a good pickoff between both Lanham and Slark. Still have a tiny Man. bit left on oh. the daytime. While the they're daytime. making it go in top lane, Old Lemon's like, you guys move in. I found myself a little pile I die here. They're going to get the kill on that. And they can't even get the Death Prophet down. She's like, bring it on, baby. You don't got the Witch Doctor. Moves forward with a Soul Siphon, but now it might be too much. Puppy moves in, and eyes bigger than stomach, unfortunately, at that moment there for the Death Prophet. She will go down, but it's a two-for-one trade at the better for Ehome right now. And Slark has been just farming away at this bottom lane. After he is huge. Yeah, I was going to say, after the Shadow Blade, he nearly has 2K gold. It looks like he's going to be building right away for the Scotty. And then this Slark is going to be a Goliath. That is a successful night time. And now they know that Ward's there, too. If he pings it out. Usually they spam ping out on the, on the map. Aether Lens for the Lion here. But... Notice that Ehome are like playing very well around the combo that Secret has a sleep and a ravage. Yeah. They're like taking very like very you know, like two or three people around the map at each time. And then after they commit a big ultimate like that, then they'll commit in with more. And now they have the they, they don't have Ravage up for a while, only committed for a solo Bat Rider kill. So they can actually fight this very easily with the uh with the Death Prophet Ultimate. Unfortunately they committed the, the finger to the last fight without a kill. But that's that's right for the jacking. Right for the jacking. <laughs> right for the jacking. Uh, that's there's not very many times where it's the right for the jacking, but this might be the right time here. Pilot well, Eye, though, is... They're going to look to farm out while the Ravage is down, and they don't know that Ehome has vision because they placed a sentry on it, but look how many sentries they committed to secure that stack. And now they feel safe, but it's not safe. Uh, Envy's not safe here. Envy, Envy is... Yeah, he's fine. He's okay now. Maybe wait for night time. Too soon for Roche, though, for Ehome? Yes. Well, I mean, if they want to commit Ghost to it, but I think you only commit Ghost to it during daytime, which is... Yeah. Okay, but they have Darkness, and it's like two minutes until... All the while, though, you know, it's still that Ravage down. See, Ehome are taking... It's right for the jacking, dude. They're farming the Secret Jungle, too, so it's like Secret only have the stack to farm yeah, in some of the lanes. They're going to punish this so hard. Let's see. Uh, they see it happening here. What is the plan from Ehome? They're going to smoke and crush Slark them. Slark is going to try to maybe flank. Is he sweeping all the way down the low ground? But look at the rest of Ehome. Oh, no smoke. They're going to okay. see it coming. They're just pinging it. Into it. Misery, what is he going to do about it? They don't have Ravage. Are they just going to leech experience? What is, what is happening? He's like baiting him. Like, I'm just a I don't know. A lot of look at Lotum's. He's, he's just, just like, I'm just going to farm down here in the lane while you guys are up there. Look at this. They're going to come all the way behind. They're trying to reposition themselves so they can come from all fronts, maybe? But Secret are doing a good job. They're in reserve. They see the darkness. They're pulling their 
head back into the turtle shell. If they wait too long, whatever's going to be up. They might just have to sack the stack. They got what they could from it, but I don't know if this is going to be the time to fight, especially if Ravage is still not going to be at the ready they for this They have ghosts. They can wrap around with ghosts. I think they just have to sack it. Oh, uh, they didn't even jack it. That's they have to sack it, so e are going to jack it. No, okay. Or nothing. No harm, no foul. Maybe they're like, we'll leave it. Maybe Secret will go back for the food once more, and we'll, we'll try our trap again. They don't have the ward down, though. I guess maybe they were waiting for like a Naga out of position and the last of her kill her and then swoop in, or else they just get slapped and just run away. Okay. We still have the vision of this happening here. Yeah, but no nighttime. It's, it's like whatever. It's only three creeps left. Who cares? Okay, they'll see the remnant go down. Yeah, this now now Naga's there who has song. Don't even bother eleven. He's going to take himself away to the top lane, it looks like. And Lady Death Prophet here, after picking up the Yules, already close to a BKB, straight to the BKB for her. And it looks like Fan has his first ulti orb already online, plus he a knows they good have a chunk of money. Oh. Ah, get the hell out Hello. there. Brings him to the low ground, away from his family and friends. And let's see if they can make it away. Puppy, if he really wanted to save him, could song and will commit the song here. Is it all defensive, though? It looks like Pilot Out wants to heal up and engage. Misery, oh, goes right into a silence. There's going to be no Ravage for him. And Ehome are like, uh, sil uh, that sleeps on cooldown now. All right. Bathing out of the ultimate, but let's see if they can actually make something happen with it this time. Death Prophet, very low on mana. Nighttime still. Last of cooldown a bit. Long time. But they saw that ward up there. Like, secret. Yeah. That, that ward has been up the entire They duration. figured it was like down here. It's like, I know that's a new ward spot, but, you know. They've spent so long trying to farm that area and secure that area and take a good fight. And all of it has been nullified because of the ward. There's like really not many other options to go to. Ehome have been taking mm -hmm. residents in the secret jungle for so long. And you know there's a Shadow Blank Slark in there. So it's like a shark in water, literally. So you don't want to go there at all. So all that's left is like a couple of lanes while they're pushed in. And that's it. And... Whoever can farm that stack, which usually has to be done as a group effort. Gold's going to be split apart. XP's going to be split apart. Seeker are getting starved a little bit here in the mid game. The Slark just it feels like he knows he has huge potential and is controlling the most of the map. And what helps controlling? Batriders. Darkness is coming out. And BKB to counter to Sleep Ravage. Yeah. Need more BKBs, though. Ehome on pace to... Possibly make it yet another draw for them and another draw for Secret, but we'll see. Secret have yeah, been farming like two camps every minute. Yeah, <laughs> it's not good. I mean, I've seen big comeback games on the back of a you know solo Ember Spirit Arteezy rapiers in hand, but this game he's not getting that kind of farm mid lane. Poor little Pie gonna be taken away from his family again well, what this he time. Have? Oh, he's fingered. Feelings. He's down. Dang. Yeah, the range is pretty damn ridiculous at that point. Oh my God, look at the items just flow in. Woo! Agnum, so all of a sudden here for the Night Stalker. And BKB done. Blink on Lion very soon. Gem's going to be coming next, and <laughs> Secret are going to be stuck in the dark. Like, this is going to be so tough. I mean... Ward here, ward here, ward here. The Invoker, unfortunately, is not going to be relevant. It hasn't really been too relevant at this point. They had a great synergy with the whole, like, Ensnare, Sunstrike combo in the early part, but didn't get enough from it. All right. See here as Secret are hungry for gold. Maybe even taking tier ones if they can get that. Committing in five, they know they have the Ravage. Song probably back up by now. But Ehome may be feeling confident that they still have the stronger five Dude, on five. Especially with these new item pickups. This Dark Slark's Ag. so wussy. <laughs> he's 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 standing in. You know, he's like, if I choke here, it's on me. Or Such maybe he's like, I want to get the Scotty first. How do they kill him with his uh, when he uses his ultimate? I guess, like, maybe afterwards they can kill him, but they can f just follow up with, like, Lion Stun, with Exorcism. Oh, Envy. Can they lock him down enough? Slight? Gone. No. Nope. What a happen. good timing for a Slight. Yeah. I've seen that happen far too often for Ember Spirits. Being able to quick remnant while their mitts a convenient Slight. All too well. Has, I actually, we just saw Envy escape, but can we see what he actually has? Battle okay, Fury. he's almost got, he has had the Battle Fury. No, not yet, actually. He's still component away, so. Ooh, they have Glimmer on. 
Not good. That would be kind of useful until he gets gem. Wow, yeah. what the what kind of spike was that? That was like so the uh, Sand King Burrow strike there. <laughs> it's pretty damn crazy. Alright. No sun strike this time yet. Kaka, as he's locked down, there's a bit of force coming out. It's taking still way running. too long to kill, though. Yeah, this is a... Uh, Sleep run away. That Agnum Scepter. Where, so much where is life. this guy? I'm farming, bro. Just chill out. Just you wait. Once I get my next item, that's when I'm going to go. Yeah. Just you wait. Yeah, I agree, though. This is normally Slark is like, now I swallow up supports. I really become a nuisance. Like a weasel. And I feed off everything. And he's like, I, like Eeyore now. He's like, oh, wait. I got to get farmed. Playing like an AM almost. He is not thirsty for kills. Not at all. Well, we'll have to see when is going to be the right time for this Slark. But hey, Secret get a little bit of something, and that precious stack is going to be worked on a bit more here. No fortunate ward this time for Ehom to see what's going on. And V obviously, like, for every time he goes out to these side lanes, there is mild pressure. Even though they might be a swing and a miss, it's something that he's still going to have to continue to think about here. They need a gem on Ehome, maybe next night time, because he just got wrecked. All right, a couple of promising pickups here for Secret. The Ag's now being grabbed up from Wii while Envy does finish that Battle Fury. Farm will come faster. And the Blink on Titan, that's a big deal. Yes. Because Ehome don't have good disengage. Secret have amazing disengage. Alright, and... I think Ehome has given them too much time, though. And they, in their little ball, they farmed their Secret... Uh, shop camps very very well, and they have like a Midas uh, Midas bots on the Invoker, and then they have like the Battle Fury and bots on Ember Spirit, so they can split push very well as the game progresses further and further. I guess Ehome's waiting for the gem on Night Stalker, the extra item here for Death Prophet after a BKB, which seems to be a Shiva's. They're waiting for five more items on floor. You know, it's gotta have everything in line. He needs here. an Abyssal. I don't know if he gets BKB now or Abyssal. But Abyssal's way better for... Oh, he gets BKB, okay. Mm -hmm. BKB's necessary versus their lineup, or else he will die right after Shadow Dance because of the sleep. But Abyssal's way better for the way he's playing, which is not fighting at all and just split pushing. Here comes Secret now. As we said, they got okay. all those items at the ready. They're looking to put them to use. They're looking to get their hands dirty here. Ooh, but a smoke under response... The it I was close. I didn't see a ping or anything from Secret. I don't know if they were under the ward. Though. I think they were like one was to the left and one was to the right of that tiny. But tiny they pulled out as soon as they as soon as it happened. So maybe they well, didn't see it. Well, because darkness. So yeah. it's a more telltale sign. Yeah, so what are they making do here? They're going real deep here. Ooh, Naga gem. Uh oh, somebody's about to get picked off. Uh oh oh he sees Invoker he goes for the pull misery he's not going oh no wizardry he's not going to be able to get the ravage or the blink off to go in and it's a swing and a miss here oh no here comes Ehom now they take down the Invoker step What's back his blink I, I I don't know no radiance burn oh he's going in and uh, hey suddenly fans in the game <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> and he just killed Pi what come on that's not enough it's just a Pi after all tier two goes down top lane pressure is coming in. But, uh, yeah, bounce out of there. Eh, I guess it's just fair. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Was it Firefly? I guess it was Firefly. Maybe he Sometimes touched it's a like bit hard of fire. to see on the ground. Yeah. Oof. Well, that's a Ravage down. That's two heroes down. Ehom step Sleep back. Down too. They're not quick to the Roche yet. Kaka spotting it now. It's nighttime. Slark, you could do Roche so easily with your items. He's like, I just need. A little more time, Ben. Can you wait a minute? A little more time. <laughs> this talking is the level, time. We're talking level one Roche here. I gotta prepare. <laughs> oh, Slark. And there was a DD he's apparently something too. Else. So. Yeah, they're waiting so long. <laughs> you can tell he's getting impatient. Uh, get I'm getting impatient. Oh, uh, he's like, I'm fine. I'm watching this guy. Fine, 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 fine. You know, they lost game one. Their stand-in player wants to do his duty. Wants to make sure CTY comes back, you know. Hope he's doing well. 
understand he is in the hospital right now. Quarter sure. one. But uh, hopefully he does feel better and Ehome will be able to pull out a strong group stage showing and CTY can make a, a wonderful story run. Carry on his legacy, fam. Carry it on. Sunstripe will ah, scout panic. things out. <laughs> fam is please tank it, though. Finally, they I don't have enough down. items to tank this. So I knew this was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got the Aegis now, so he's safe to kind of wait a bit at his leisure. Early silence, but not going to stop the blink. That was the next pickup for Envy, the classic blink grab. That makes that makes it feel a lot safer now. He can always just kind of leave an early remnant, blink forward, slight, make himself out to safety. Doesn't add a lot offensively here, and look at these. Look, we're trying to cut him off here. Oh, there's a tower here. Whoops. Stands like I'm going for the tower. Either that or Envy will cross this way. Oh, that's a gem. This could be. Oh, okay. Oh. I thought it was going to be a much bigger deal than it actually was. Yep, that was just a. Oh, that could have been a big brawl. If he, loses, if he TPs in right there, they, they lose the gem. Easy 100 gold down. 100? Oh, 75, right? Yeah. That's right. Got discounted. Wait, what did. Did he, what did Batrider buy and sell? He was going for BKB. Yeah. Got his Batrider tool belt. It did feel like it slowed down a bit. I felt like he would have maybe almost even had the BKB by now, but it hasn't been the most... It's not like last game where he's continually finding the picks. Envy and Secret are certainly not making it easy for him to get these kind of... No, they really can get a ghost of that? That's strange. So what are they going to do with it now? Move forward? Well, they, can, they can't pressure the high ground because they use ghosts on that one. And now they're forced to back, which wastes their ages. Hmm. Well, they'll get their tower. Here's Secret inside the high ground. Early Hex. Tornado. Nicely done from Wii. But they are going to get the lasso off, but it's quickly shaken off right now. Envy even bumped forward here for Flame Break. They still continue to move in. Ravage right in the midst of it to try to slow them down, but the BKB is able to kind of force away the stun. Miz are going for a TP. They don't have a way to stop him. It looks like Void not at the ready. Lanham not able to make it in time. Only one takedown. It is on to Envy though. It's a still a good kill. It's a good kill for Ehome. Only at the expense of what looks like a lasso and a, and a little BKB. Wow, he's so slow with the spirit link and the, and the just a couple times of napalm. The the Ember Spirit. He couldn't move at all. Sticky, sticky. Good to travel for Death Prophet now. You still want to use the Aegis though if you're E-Home. Still have a good amount of time on it. They have, they have enough time. On, so How much time? I mean, they have a, about 70 seconds, it look like, for the next exorcism. So two and a is half. It, but it's fan. Yeah, it's a, it is. <laughs> they got to go, Dude, but it's, it's fan. fan. So he's going to like chill out for a while. He's not dealing well with the split push either. Like, Usually you're like deathly afraid of split push against a Slark, but not, not these guys. No, not this Slark. He's definitely playing it very farm intensive here. 3k gold. Uh oh, 11 on the prowl. While I die, even goes, gets a little of this. They're really curious. And oh, hi guys. FA just let me use it. They're oh, late, wait. Fan. No, they have Jump that illusion. Run. Get out of there, fan. Run. Oh, a little bit of body blockage. Yules is going to be there. BKB. Oh, what? And the pounce is a miss. And that's fan, a back to the jungle. Just get back and keep farming. Maybe another item will help you out, my man. Yeah, okay, fan. Just get back. Well, so much for Aegis number one. Now we got to do something with this, right? Uh, get this Why stuff. was he scared? Why do you need pump BKB there? Oh, Aegis, bro. Do nerves, man. Land, stand in. Come on. Relax. Something. You're too Breathe. fine. You know, drop game one. You're supposed to feel like godly in this sort of situation as Slark. You're so farmed over everyone else. And you have the Aegis. And you have BKB. But he, he is not. He's not imposing the will of fan upon Secret. Yeah. He definitely was not this passive. He needed he need a pistol, for sure. Well, that's because his team was like, okay, we're pushing now. Yeah. This game, he's given a lot more autonomy and using it to farm. Oh, hello. How do they stop the blink dagger, though? Ooh. Like that. Quick draw, McGraw coming out here from 11. Pulls him right back into trouble. 
right into a silence. I don't think they have the manpower to take him down. Another silence, man, a lot of hate to stop him. Is it still gonna be enough? It will be. Woo! That was like a mini ballet right there. That was nice. Uh-oh, on the other side. Death Ward committed here from Mr. Pi as he goes under the Shadow Amulet. Fans in there! And some are fighting right now, but Lanham's the one in trouble. Weehaw, the Magician, not going to be able to catch him. A good blink away. He's gone. Oh, well, that's, that's too much fighting for Fan. He's like, whoa, is that an ice wall? <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm out of here, bros. I got something, right? I did something. I'm good enough. I'm out of here. I got my quota. See you guys later. In ten minutes, maybe. Oh! oh what? Gotta applaud. That was close. Oh, oh, they saw what for. Hey, ghosts are out this time for the high ground push, knowing that Envy is still going to be out in oh, 30 seconds. Oh, where's Fan? Oh, he's not beating on the tower yet. He's Sam's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait for me. Why is he pushing? Moon uh, I mean, attack speed's good. Okay. Yeah, SMY oh. wasn't good enough last time. Oh, oh that's... 11 forced in. Looking to step away. Has the BKB off. And snared him up, but not enough damage to finish him off. And as Puppy uh -oh. will dish out the song here, 11 will be able to make it back to the low ground. Oh, he has quick fuels. Does he have a ramp? He's trying to get a Ravage off, it looks like. Sunstrike will hit, but not the biggest of damage. Where's Fan? Uh, e Home <laughs> will leave. Where's Fan? Fan's in there. He's not in there. I mean, he's That's in there. That's the whole point. He's, he's in with his team. He's not getting up in there, he's just there. <laughs> well, maybe he has taken off for CCY with oh. the moon short. Can he kidnap that guy? Oh. 11 has Lasso here. Kidnap. He's like, you come out that door, I'm going to get you. Again, a quick pullback. The Ooh. Yules will be there. Slows him down, but That's not the quick gem. enough. Pick That's up the gem. Gem down. Now, Naga didn't have the song anyways, but as they go in and break out the fight, Misery commits his Ravage. He ends up going down as well. Fans in! Naga with the oh, buyback. Wait, no. Naga gets her gem back, it looks like. How did they not get the gem out of that? Oh, okay. Good ice wall, maybe. It seems like they couldn't walk past it to get to the gem. And Fans just scared. A good Ravage from Misery, I guess, slowed them down a bit. Just eat the moon shard and take that thing. <laughs> Dude, this guy's so scared. <laughs> it's okay. He's he hasn't died. Yeah. And he's yeah. gotten a lot of farm. Yeah. I mean he can't fall he's top of the net worth still. I wonder why. You know? His hands are pretty clean, but they're Ooh. dirty from farm. Oh that soil. Mm. Well, Puppy bought back just to get that freaking gem. Yeah, <laughs> you know? Oh and he didn't have a song, so it's not like he bought back to have a song set up or anything. It was all yeah. for the gem. and It's that important. Do they? I mean, they still have a gem on E-Home, so. Yeah, but you want to take that away from the from the Naga. Because mm. the Naga illusion can scout out the Slark when mm -hmm. he's trying to gank. Not, I mean, if he were trying to gank, they could scout him out. Yes. You know what? Maybe fans ahead of the game, he's like, I don't even need to gank because they have a gem, guys. Like, yeah, I'm only going to put myself in trouble. And then they just trouble. split push and farm and get yeah. a ton of gold. Well, at least I'm not dying. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! BKB will keep the Death Prophet alive here. Valiant effort, though, from Weehawk. Gets her pretty damn low and forces, of course, out the BKB. So, okay. it's something. Deward that. Nice. Okay, fan, this is your chance. Oh. You <laughs> go already. somewhere else. While Lanham's like, fan, up here, fool! They are going to move in now. They're going to get the pounce of the finger. and <laughs> Up here, fool. <laughs> that was much more on Lanham, but hey, Fan was there to get off the pounce and some right clicks, so. He scouted out where he wasn't. <laughs> He's like, maybe you want to see if there was backup nearby. So, you there you go, Fan. He thought there was an ice wall there. He's like, I want to make sure there's no hidden Wait, witch what docker. You, what item did he get? Basher? Uh, I saw an item. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Sir. Good job. Yeah. Bash those creeps. Bash their headed. Alright, now secret as they advance in the top lane. We Wait, see Fan e doesn't have a TP though. How is he going to get to this fight? He's not. He's got a bounty rune down there he's going to probably go for and just farm that bit. Scout out for the loose. But look at this top. They make another move for uh, Death Prophet here, but she's moving in. Yules. Ravage is out. And a lot of ults. They got the Yules. Ehome's on route from behind, but it's taking too long. Now Death Prophet goes down, but they're going to fight here. There you go. You just wasted all of those magical spells, so. We're going to go ahead and take you apart here. Weeha tries to TP, but it quickly hexed up. And here comes the Bat Rider. Eleven's going to be moving and taking flight. They finish off Wee. They scout out a little pie. They take him down. And All three go down, and Fan almost gets there. And you Fan's tried, like, buddy. good job, guys. Nice work. Boom, got that creep. Look at that creep die. Get that creep. 
Bash those creeps. Do you guys like my basher? Bashing these creeps. You See more this, of me man. on VG potential. You got this, man. Nonetheless, uh, a good retort, if you will, from Ehome. Death Prophet really made them work, forced out all those spells, lingered with the Yules a bit, and allowed Ehome to get their own bit of response time. Oh, fans up in their business. Come on, come for Roach number nope. two, fan. He saw an we need you for Roach, fan. He, he saw an illusion. He's got to go. Fan, we need you. I We're at Roche right now, but we don't have any damage. Wait, who is at the Roche right now? We are Roche. Yeah, they are. Dude, they're at Roche. They're doing it without him. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Fan, get over there. Oh, He's like, guys, guys. Oh, he has a pistol. Oh. oh. Get over there. No, maybe in a day they're they'll actually finish this doing Roche without him. <laughs> well, fan's like, guys, if I'm in the lane and they see me, They'll never think you're doing Roche. I'm helping out. Show they himself. Have, they have wards. There's like, there's Guys, no they way they'll do a Roche if Slark is farming. Give me the Aegis. All right, well, so it's I pretty obvious now. More. Batrider just starts flying that way from the mid lane a bit. Okay, do they give Old Chicken the Aegis, or did they give Slark the Aegis? I'm saying Old Chicken. Well, based on gameplay, yes, Old Chicken will probably put it to more use, but maybe, maybe Fan gets the Aegis. And he's like, now I got this extra life. It didn't last time matter, but maybe he's like, now I can feel a bit more rambunctious. He might still pop his BKB first, but we'll see. Maybe this will be the tool he needed to be a bit more adventurous and really take it to secret while he's got such a ridiculously good advantage. Looks like they caught out Puppy here. Oh, wait, fan can't get there. Yules, silence. Old Chicken don't need no fan. Oh, gets the song off here. Maybe he does need a fan. Oh, land him. Unfortunately, uh, he could have. Uh, I think even with his nice Aether lens, it would have been a bit too far to try to do it from the outside of that song. Misery will make it away as well. And Dude, fan, you're six slotted right now. If you count that Aegis. But he can still get a courier and load that thing up, so we got time. He can still get BOTs. He can still get BOTs. He can still. Uh, get a butterfly. He has to get something to replace the Oh, this is a rapier time, actually, for Envy. I think he's, mm, he's been dying a lot, though. Ugh. He's done it before at Frankfurt. Yeah, but not against a Night Stalker and Eggs. Right, he's died, what, four times? This is very Three, scary, yeah. Times? Blinking Lions, not, you know, Since that Agnum's happened? Night Stalker, a blinking Bat Rider. you got to be scared for your life if you're with a this game. you got to be able to read the game so well to know what lane is safe to farm and win. Especially if Ehome are ever off the radar, any of them. Ooh. A refresher for Bat Rider. All right. He does not have the mana pool for that though. Sadly. <laughs> <laughs> we got Tranquils too. Well, he's got. He gets. Uh, no one has Arcanes on his team either, huh? Yeah, he doesn't no, have the mana. <laughs> Even Lanham has Boots of Travel. That's cool. <laughs> Need a bounty rune. Hey guys, let's see you use the Aegis. Like almost ready. Slark, come mid. We need you right now. Come on, bro. Three minutes on Aegis. Don't like, be scared. Is Roche almost up? He's like, you have the Aegis. Come. Can I get a second Aegis? Do we have cheese, guys? Someone with a cheese be ready behind me, please. All right, Octarine Core. But my BKB's not 10 seconds anymore. Didn't one of your friends call it an Octane Core? Yeah. <laughs> High Octane Core here for the Death Prophet. And uh, with a tier three already down, Rax is now exposed. This is Ehome looking to take this series to a draw and claim their one fan, point. Fan, kill the ward. Uh, someone else got it. It's okay, Fan. Back to the Rax. Oh, he ate a tornado here. He's holding that BKB. This is Run. good. He's got a Roche. And get the hell out of there. Whose ghosts are those? Oh, those are my ghosts. Let's go back in. In they go. Oh, wait. Secret. Very I'm not passive. supposed to stand next to creeps. Watch out for the meatball. Pounces away from trouble. Waits it out. Goes back in. Both Raxes are going to be down. Ehome do their first series based ad advancement Ooh, in. creeps. And Ehome are gone, just like that. Secret obviously knowing that they would have to bow out. Did he situation. have Octarine before that? What's the cooldown on this? Yeah. Okay, so they have one minute with Exorcism and the Aegis. Oh, oh, Fan! Fan. This oh. is very unlike you, Fan. Are you seriously going for a solo pick? I don't know, yeah. to be surprised or proud. 
Not enough to get the job done. And 11's like, I'll pick up the pieces. But unfortunately, almost, yeah, he gets caught into a tornado himself. Has to BKB. And he's like, Fan, where were you? Fan's back now. Drops the Abyssal. It is going to be to a song. But he's got that BKB. And he's not going to be able to get the finish on the Wii. He's got to get out of there. And he's like, I knew it. I knew it. I can't go in there and fight. <laughs> I got to get out of here. And he is gone. What was 11 doing? He's like, you're not going to finish him? I will. And he just like dove into the base trying to get someone. He, he almost had a lasso and pulled him, pulled him downhill, which Fan could have finished off with his BKB. But he didn't get the lasso off. And Finn, I don't think, provided a vision up the hill, which is very desperately needed. So now I don't, like, what, what's the timer on Aegis? 30-ish 30, 30 seconds? It's gone. Yeah, it's going to be gone at any moment. They're what's not going to be able to do anything with it. Well, it leaves time for Fan to get one more item. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then the, the next Aegis and the possible next go. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe the Octarine core is enough to get E-Home excited about pushing again without needing an Aegis. We'll see. You mean Fan. E-Home's been very excited to push. Yeah. I don't know how persuasive. Maybe Lanham's like, I haven't really been working with this guy. I can be hard on my team, but I don't want to... I don't want to yell at him too much. Refresher, now complete. Eleven's tired. I'm tired of this nonsense. He wants to lasso people nonstop. I gotta tell you, Eleven's Batrider is pretty damn nice. Yeah, this he, series. He needs some mana though. Mm. Ooh. Try to get bot. Uh, Fade so far in the back. He's got the Aegis. Get up there and see. He doesn't not have the Aegis. Oh, anymore. not anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh Envy is going for Rapier yeah. here. Yeah, that's due in this sort of situation. Well, Tier 3 in trouble. Easy takedown with the help of this mighty exorcism. Now they're going for the next set Don't of Don't be racks. scared, fan. He's like, I'm in it. I'm going. Let's see. What's Secret going to do? They're going to get Pie caught, And this could be the end of their Death Ward. Unless he has a buyback. He's out. No buyback. Song already used. It's not for a setup here. Secret going to have to make do with what they got. And it could be a, a Ravage follow-up Invoker combo. Here it is. There's the big Ravage, and it is going to be enough to take down Lanham. He quickly buys back. He's got boots of travel. He's looking to come in and end this game oh. out. There is the secondary lasso grab on to the Mighty Weeha. We'll pull him right back to the action. Fan. He's going to throw him up. Where's Fana? He's going in. He gets a nice Abyssal locked out onto Invoker. That's he a rapier. is going to be out. Is this it here? This rapier in hand. Can Envy do it? Oh, big damage through with the Slide of Fist. is going to be forcing Kaka back, but Fan. Fan's going in. He's going in. He's got Misery down, and they're looking to walk away. And oh, he, he has to be careful. He can get hexed. Oh, oh yeah, he's he got hexed up. Did he not know Lanham bought back? I don't know, but yep, he got caught out, taken down. That's a rapier on the deck, and that could Finn. just be the game. Finn, Finn has done it. it. Yeah, Finn. Woo. E-Home have done it. 30 to 17 is going to be your closeout score here, and they're going to be drawing this series up one to one. You know, both that's, of these a, that's a nice clean game from them, though. That was a... Very safe. They just had great map control all game, though, because of the Sark Shadow Blade, because of the Blink Bat Rider, and the Night Stalker Ags. I mean, like, when your first two picks are Night Stalker, Bat Rider, yeah, control is definitely the. But still, they have to deal with a Naga Gem. Yeah. They have to team fight into Sleep, into Ravage. They have to deal with the split pushing with BOT's Ember and Invoker. It's not an easy task at all, and they. They handled the whole, like, them five manning their ancient situation for a five minute situation. Oh, God, well. yeah, that was that was rough for Secret. They were forced to dance around mm -hmm. that for so long while E Home can kind of just dig But they were baiting E Home into that sort of fight, though. Like, if they catch him down the choke, uh, I don't think they had BKBs at that point. They got slept in a four man ravage. Boom! E Home Game turns around. They, they never let it go to that point. And it was also good at the early laning stage. It looked like they got Fan what he needed to at least feel comfortable in his <laughs> laning stage. And then Lime's like, I'm going to go do work. I'm bored here, so he ran around, and that's when they got multiple kills on Weeha in the mid lane. The Invoker struggled a little bit, and then they got a couple picks on the Envy, and it went really well for them. So props to E-Home. They got a game back. Yeah. Both these teams are king of drawing, though. That means that Secret have now drawn in two different series, so they have two points, and E-Home have drawn in three different series for three points, and that's when you know it just – you really need to have a 2-0 at this point. Three ties are not going to be enough. You know, unless everyone ties and you go for a hopeful tiebreaker situation, but you have a team like Complexity have already claimed a 2-0, so they're at the top of the polls. I don't know if we we don't have the technology to bring up group stages. I'm sure, but 
maybe between series we can kind of check it out, and I'll do my best to update them. You're done now, though, right? Mm. Your shift is over. Good work today, Mr. Wu. It was a pleasure, and we'll see you back for your next shift. I'm not done. I'm just getting started. i got two more series ahead of me, so we'll cut to a break. When we come back, it's going to be Heat 4, Phase 4, Shift 4, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what to Round 4. Round 4. Fight. I don't even know the two teams that are going to be on the mainstream, but I'm looking forward to it. Do we have that technology? Two. Pop. We don't have technologies here. Coming at you live from Azubu. BTS bringing the English coverage for the Mars TV MDL Winter League. We'll cut to a break. When we return, it's going to be our fourth series today. We'll see you soon after the break. <laughs>